marine scientist project called Divina Guadalupe and it's called Divina Guadalupe because there is a lot of biodiversity in this island. It's a marine refuge and we came here to study big whales. Big whales are very poorly known marine mammals and this bay is amazing because it has so many of them. There is also a lot of white sharks here. And elephant seals. lots of fur seals and the story about them is that they almost got to extinction because people were killing them for their furs and now they're protected so that's why marine refuges like these are really important esta expedición que estamos realizando en colaboración con Sea Shepherd y otras instituciones es muy importante en México apenas es la segunda expedición que se hace a Isla Guadalupe para conocer más sobre el sífido de Cuvier so currently there are over 20 recognized species of beaked whales and we're still finding more. Just this year a new species of beaked whale was discovered. So that kind of gives you an idea of how rare these animals are. A lot of people may have never heard of a beaked whale. They've probably never seen one out in the ocean. And that's because these animals are very elusive. Uh, they don't approach boats. They don't spend much time at the surface. For most of their lives, they're down at depth. They come up just for a few breaths and then they're gone again. So it's very hard to come across them. But what we have been finding in recent years is that they do seem to be very affected by man-made noise, especially naval sonar. And so even if you've never heard of a beaked whale, you've probably seen in the news that occasionally there are mass strandings of whales following naval sonar activities. And more often than not, those animals tend to be a species of beaked whale. This place is unique. We can find the animals very frequently and very close to the coast. So it facilitates their study. We're here to learn about many aspects of their ecology, like their distribution, the use of the habitat, Para en un futuro poder establecer este reglas de mitigación o establecer lineamientos sobre su conservación. Por ejemplo, si se va a realizar exploración sísmica, se tienen que tener observadores a bordo para saber si está este animal y si está este animal no realizar ese tipo de sonidos. Ese es un ejemplo de una regla de mitigación. Cuando tenemos un avistamiento, nosotros tratamos de tomar fotos de la aleta dorsal para poder identificar con las cicatrices y con la forma de la aleta y posteriormente compararlo con, con otros individuos. Y con esto podemos ver su tiempo de estancia, si hay residencia de estos animales en diferentes años. Hay animales que tienen marcas muy distintivas por las que son fácilmente reconocibles. Hay algunos otros que tienen marcas muy pequeñas que son difíciles de reconocer. As part of our field activities out here, we were hoping to tag some of the cuviers, but it proved to be a bit difficult. Um, the whales weren't too cooperative, they didn't quite get close enough. So you can collect a lot of really valuable data with tags, and that's useful because they're at the surface for very little time, and so there's only so much data you can collect just by eye. They're very extreme divers, so they typically dive down to at least a thousand meters or more on a daily basis several times a day and the reason they dive so deep is because they're hunting deep water squid. A Cuvier's beaked whale is actually the record holder for the deepest and longest mammalian dive. So an animal tagged a couple of years ago in California was able to dive to almost 3,000 meters and it stayed down for over two hours. Quiero agradecer a, a Una y a Sea Shepherd por, haber este, por habernos apoyado en realizar esta expedición, la cual fue muy exitosa. Registramos 29 avistamientos de sífido de cubier. Pudimos individualizar 29 animales, los cuales servirán para aumentar el catálogo de fotoidentificación que tenemos en esta isla y nos va a ayudar para compararlo con el catálogo de fotoidentificación del sur de California de esta especie. It's really important to be working with marine scientists because we can only protect what we know. And so the more they know, the better we can protect it.